everyone, welcome to Royal Court Motors. We got some deals for you. Come out and see us today. Check us out. Royal Court Motors, baby. Courtney Owens built a successful car dealership from the ground up with her boyfriend and business partner Stoney Williams. The two were a power couple on the rise and seemed to have it all. Sadly, one day while Courtney was at work catching up on paperwork, a mask intruder would come in and take Courtney's life. An investigation would reveal the shocking truth of how Courtney was betrayed by someone she loved and trusted, and how greed and deceit led to her murder. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Snellville, Georgia. 34-year-old Courtney Owens, a Snellville resident, was a devoted and loving mother to a 12-year-old son. She was described as a great friend, one that you could call whenever you needed anything, and she would be there for you. She was also a daughter and a sister, and described as having a heart of gold. Courtney was an entrepreneur and was extremely hardworking with an unstoppable drive. Courtney was in a relationship with 41-year-old Stoney Williams. Courtney and Stoney were both co-owners of the Royal Motors car dealership. This year we're doing something extra special for the community. Everybody in the metro Atlanta area, we're giving you your down payment. If you bring $1,000 to us, we're going to make it $2,000. If you bring $2,000 to us, we're going to make it $4,000. They were partners in their business as well as partners in life. The two worked hard to make their business successful. They posted multiple videos online to promote their car business, providing vehicles to individuals with a bad credit score, and even offering to match customers down payments. This is my girl V, she needs a car bad. Hey, oh, you nice need a car? To meet you. Good to meet you V, I'm Mr. Dills. Nice to meet you. What, what you looking for? What kind of car you want? Uh, I mean, I would like a BMW. Really? Alright, so what's your situation? I don't have any credit. I've been here three years and I can't get approved because of it. Don't worry about it. You don't need credit here. All you need is a down payment and your driver's license, and we're going to get you right. Well, I have that. You got that? Well, let's get you in a car. Courtney, put her in whatever car she wants. Okay. Walk her over to it. Let's get her in there and get her driving. Okay. That sounds good. Come on. Hi, your Courtney. Hey. How are you doing? What you want? That BMW is pretty. Okay. I'm going to you the side. Wait, wait, wait. Is it really that easy? So she signed on the tablet. Get her keys. And give you her license. That's it. That's, it. That's it? That's it. Oh, girl. Okay. What well, he got? Thank you. Courtney worked day in and day out to grow the business. On December 9, 2022, at about 2.30 p.m., officers responded to a call from a bystander about a shooting at the Royal Court Motors car dealership. When they arrived, they discovered Courtney Owens shot inside her business. The Gwinnett County community of Snellville on edge tonight after police say a masked man walked into this used car dealership and gunned down a woman inside. I heard about it. I was leaving the hairdresser and it was on the news and I was on my way here and I was like, that's the area that I'm about to go into. So. No motive at this time. The unidentified adult woman was shot inside Royal Court Motors. Investigators spending hours on the scene sifting through evidence and interviewing witnesses. Gwinnett PD saying some of those witnesses told them they saw the suspect carrying a gun as he ran from the business in the middle of the day. The, a possible suspect may have been known to the business or somebody in the business. Detectives are following up on the leads trying to figure out what the motive would be. Crazy like just seeing like I've been over there and stuff. Royal Court Motors sits up against the busy intersection of Centerville Highway and Annistown Road. Both corridors are lined with a mix of small locally owned shops as well as national chains. Shoppers say they generally feel safe here. It's cool, it's just when things like that help happen, it's unfortunate, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's crazy. It's just these guns out here are crazy and everyone's shooting for all types of reasons. Courtney was shot in the head, and right before her last breath, she said the name of the man who shot her. Reportedly, Wesley Vickers was the name Courtney gave to the police before she closed her eyes for the final time. According to a witness, a masked individual approached her, made her get on her knees, then shot her in the head before leaving the scene on foot. Initially, the police had limited leads to follow regarding the murder of Courtney. Why would anyone come into a business and shoot an employee and just flee the scene? What was the motive? By all accounts, Courtney was a friendly, kind-hearted woman who was helpful and would do anything for anyone. Following the incident, investigators combed the scene for evidence while detectives questioned Courtney's boyfriend and business partner Stoney Williams at the dealership that same day and evening. 
He appeared to be shocked when he arrived on scene and walked around the premises with the detectives. He provided investigators with what he knew, and he was released. Williams would go on to mourn the death of his girlfriend and business partner on social media. He created a Facebook tribute page in honor of Courtney. The page featured photos of them on vacations together, and Williams described Courtney as an angel on earth who shone brightly, expressing his longing to see her again. When that police spent days looking for Wesley. Approximately one month after the investigation began on January 6, the authorities arrested him on charges of felony murder, malice murder, and aggravated assault. Nearly two weeks after authorities arrested Wesley, the Gwinnett County Police determined that Williams was responsible for orchestrating Courtney's murder. According to the arrest warrants, he hired a hitman to kill Courtney. Wesley confessed that he was offered $20,000 by Stoney to kill Courtney and make it look like a robbery. Wesley was told he would get $5,000 up front and would get $15,000 during the fake robbery. Williams also allegedly offered Wesley $4,800 before Courtney's murder to send a message by shooting up the house where she was staying at with a friend in Fairburn. Following Stoney's instructions, Wesley, who they believed to be the hired hitman, entered the dealership and forced Courtney to kneel before shooting her in the head, then leaving the scene. He intended to double-cross Stoney and kill him as well, then get the remaining 15,000 from his pockets after killing him, but Stoney was not at the dealership as planned. Investigators believe the car dealership had cameras, but on the day of the murder, Stoney removed the cameras. The police believe that Williams plotted the murder due to his desire to take full control of the business after breaking up with Courtney. However, authorities were unable to locate him after arresting the hitman. He seemed to have just disappeared, so Gwinnett County Police released pictures of him through the media, seeking the public's assistance in locating him. Have you seen this man? Police want to find him. His name is Stoney Williams. They say Stoney hired another suspect to shoot and kill Courtney Owens, who was found dead at a car dealership. He faces multiple charges of murder and aggravated assault as well. 34-year-old Courtney Owens was an employee at a dealership in Snellville. Witnesses told police they saw a man carrying a gun walk inside that dealership, shoot Owens, and then leave. Earlier this month, police arrested him, 23-year-old Wesley Vickers, charging Vickers with murder and aggravated assault in connection to Owens' death. During the police investigation, they discovered that Williams, who remains on the run, has used several aliases which they provided to the public to assist in his capture. Stoney Williams was facing multiple charges, including malice murder for Courtney's death. Authorities discovered that Courtney's murder was not the only shooting Wesley was involved in. They linked Wesley to a drive-by shooting that occurred in South Fulton County just a day before Courtney's murder. Police say that there was a drive-by shooting by this suspect and then the very next day a cold-blooded murder. Now that alleged hitman is here in the Gwinnett County Jail, but friends of the woman he's accused of killing want the alleged mastermind in this murder for hire to be locked up too. She left behind a lot of friends that really cared for her. Friends of 34-year-old Courtney Owens are still trying to make sense of how she ended up as the victim in an alleged murder-for-hire scheme in December. A lovable, caring person, no matter what you did for her, she'll do a double for you. We're now learning the man accused of shooting Owens at a Gwinnett County car dealership is also connected to a drive-by shooting the day before in South Fulton County. At this house on Village Green Drive, Fairburn police say Wesley Vickers opened fire at 2 a.m. on December 8th. We found bullet holes at the home where police say a child was inside when Vickers started shooting and then drove off. The next day, Gwinnett County police say Vickers shot and killed Owens execution style in Snellville. He was arrested earlier this month. I'm just glad they caught the guy who actually did the killing. Owens' ex-boyfriend and business partner, Stoney Williams, is on the run, accused of hiring Vickers to kill Owens at work. Everybody's still taking a real hard like if it's not even true, like we're all living in a nightmare. Four months after Courtney's murder, authorities finally located and arrested her boyfriend and business partner, Stoney. Friends and family were devastated by the loss of Courtney, and to learn that her precious life was taken allegedly over money was even more devastating. How could someone take a mother away from her son and all of those who loved and cared for her over greed? Courtney's mother reported only seeing Stoney Williams twice. She knew him as Courtney's business partner and co-owner of the dealership, and she doesn't understand why Courtney's business partner Williams or anyone would plan to take her life. Courtney's mother wants her daughter to be remembered as someone who made a significant impact on society. 
My daughter was an entrepreneur, she earned it, she worked hard, and she was a good girl, she said. What happened to Courtney was senseless and heartless. She didn't deserve her life to be taken in such a brutal way just to prevent her from receiving her share of a business she worked day and night to build. Her murder was driven by greed. A 12-year-old boy has lost his mother over someone wanting something that they were not entitled to. Courtney trusted Stoney, loved him, spent a lot of time with him, and surely never imagined he could be capable of doing something like this to her. Stoney has not yet admitted guilt in the death of Courtney Owens therefore, he is innocent until proven guilty. This case is ongoing. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.